In number 12, it says, which of the following best summarizes passage two? In passage two, at the very end, it talks about how, in order to avoid having um, a superpower the, um, the, or a supreme power, the power is divided into two branches. One is legislative and the other is executive. And so that means that, in or, um, so that's why your answer here is C, parliament is divided into two sectors to avoid unbalanced power, okay? That's number 12. All right, um, number 13. In number 13, it says, uh, the author in passage one most likely uses quotations in line 55 too. These are the quotations. And this part is in particular is talking about how people they think. People always suspect people that are far away from them. The people that live next to them are less suspected. The people that are living even more far away are more suspected. And the more far away they are, the more remote they are, the more untrustworthy they are. And so that's why for number 13, your answer is going to be B, emphasize the mindset of the members of the community. Emphasize the mindset of the community. This is how people think. They think that people who live close to them are going to be um, better than the people that live far away from them, all right? Vagrants come from thence. Like bad people, they come from far away. Thence means from there, all right? Okay, um, number 22. In number 22, it says the purpose of the first paragraph is to. So why is this paragraph written? It's talking about zinc and it tells you zinc, it occurs in nature. Zinc is known as a commerce. Zinc is used in whatever. So it's telling you about zinc, it's defining zinc. So your answer here is C, that's number 22. All right, in number 29, in number 29, you're being asked about um, which of the following must be true for volumetric determination of zinc to take place. So volumetric determination is based on the fact that zinc salts in acid solution decompose potassium for inside forming a white insoluble zinc compound. All right, and then it talks about here, your answer is seven, line 73 to 80. It says the, from line 73 to 80, the standard solution of potassium fern side is run into a hot hydro hydrochloric acid solution of the zinc until a drop of the latter brought in contact with a drop of the indicator. So there is an indicator on a white plate. It strikes a brown color. It gives a brown color. So there's an indicator that turns into a brown color. And so volumetric determination happens when a white plate turns into a brown color. And so number 29, your answer is B, an indicator must be present that turns brown when there's an excess of zinc. Okay, so your answer here is B and B. All right, in number 31, in number 31, in uh, number 31, it says, which of the following uh, most resembles the relationship between the precipitate of zinc for inside and iron as described in the passage? So um, they're going to go back to lines 91 to 94. It says the precipitate of zinc for inside formed in the assay solution is white. But if traces of iron are present, it becomes bluish. So if it's, if it's completely um, without anything added to it, zinc, it's going to be white. But if it has something extra, it's going to turn a different color, bluish. So this is an analogy question. I want an answer that is analogous to this. What is it more like? So your answer is like A, a car filled with unfiltered water, water that is totally, um, that it, it has things within it. It, it results in a radiator blocked with limestone. It has an extra, it turns a different, it turns into something else. Instead of just having water, you're gonna have limestone also. Instead of just being white, it's gonna turn in bluish. So it's going to change because of something extra in it. It's unfiltered, meaning that there is something extra in it. It's unfiltered, something that's unfiltered means that it has something extra in it. In Arabic, we would say, fiha shawaib. Okay, so it ha it's unfiltered, it's not totally 100% water, it's going to turn, it's going to have limestone in it, something that is totally zinc, and it it's going to be white, if it has something 
uh, if traces of iron are added, something that fiha shawa admitted hadid, what's gonna it's gonna turn blue. And so that's why your answer here is eight. And number 32. Number 32, it says the passage is most likely written for. You want to ask yourself when you're reading this passage, is this passage difficult? or easy? Who do you think could um, learn more from this passage? Okay, so it's not too hard. This passage wasn't too hard. So you're not going to use experienced historians. And usually a middle school history class would be like a passage that's too easy. And that's really rarely that any passage is going to be written for middle school or high school students. So your answer here is going to be for a first year anthropology university students. Those are students that they need something easy, but it's not too easy. It's accessible. It's formal, but accessible. B would be a little bit more difficult. Graduate architectural architecture students, okay? People that are, so these two are very close to one another. They're people that are very experienced. Usually that would be wrong. And this would be really, uh, I mean, these two are wrong because the passage is not too hard. And this is wrong because the passage is not too easy. Actually, it's accessible, but it is, um, it's formal. So your answer here is A. Okay, that's number 32. Finally, number 33 says, according to the passage, who of the following would most likely live in a small yet better housing? Who would live in a, in a small but in a small yet better housing? If you look at lines 11 to 16, it says here, the middle class folk as shopkeepers, sub officials and foremen were better housed. Their houses were brick built and rather small, yet contained some half dozen rooms communicating by means of doorways, which were usually arced over. So this is somebody who is what? Sub official foreman. So he's not a farmer. That wouldn't be a farmer or a slave or a governor. That's a high official. These are low officials. It would be a lower representative, somebody that is um, a middle class some person, a sub official, somebody that is not too high and not too low. All right. Thank you for your questions.